What's going on guys, Roscoe here, back with another video. So in today's video, I'm giving you guys a glimpse inside my closet, showing you some of the pieces that I've been wearing over the past few months. But before we dive into it, I just wanna let you guys know that I am still doing the 700 mauve raffle for a size 12 dead stock. It's up for grabs still. This raffle ends tomorrow, Sunday. I'll put that link down below. So if you're interested, go check that out. But without further, let's just dive into it. All right, so starting off with my hats. If you're a longtime subscriber, you know that I am a huge fan of dad cap hats. Uh, just my go-tos, they're my go-tos. So first, I have my Easy Season 6 gravel hat. Absolutely love this one, goes with everything I have basically. Uh, then I have my Easy Season 5 uh, Calabasas Crest hat. Absolutely love this one, it's really premium. Uh, it's got like a pig suede brim. Absolutely fantastic. They did, really did a nice job on that hat. And then my go-tos. My go-to hats are just typical Adidas, you know, dad cap hats. Uh, have it in white and black. And then without further, without last, gotta have the Boston Celtics hat, snapback. I'm a huge Boston fan. As you know from my accent, I am from Massachusetts, so gotta represent the home team. Also, I've been getting into a lot of the beanies. Right now I just picked up the Supreme, just basically knit beanie yellow. Trying to mix up the color scheme a little bit, but we'll say, we'll say, but I gotta add more beanies to my collection, so. All right, so now I wanna talk about my t-shirts, my long sleeve shirts, and some of my outerwear pieces. Um, as you can see, I know this is super organized, but this is how my closet usually looks like. Um, I've kind of been on this like minimalistic trend. I've, in the past, I've just been hoarding so many pieces of clothing that I just never wore and I didn't need anymore, so I kind of just, Anytime I buy something, I tend to you know get rid of it, get rid of that piece or something else, just so my closet doesn't get too cramped. And I, you know, I kind of keep it organized from like, you know, from like color coordinate. So just so I know too as well what colors that I'm missing or I don't have or I need in my closet or my wardrobe. Uh, so just a few highlights of some of the pieces that you know that are my favorite. Just say, uh, you know, I've been a really huge fan of the off whites. Uh, you know, the jerseys, mix it up. I love the patterns that they did, especially this one. So old school, kind of has that vintage vibe. Absolutely love it. Just Then just a plain classic white polo. Um, huge fan of Kith. I love Kith clothing. So I do have a couple of their tees, just some, you know, long sleeve orange tee, perfect for fall. Absolutely love the colors on this one. And then the Calabasas tees, absolutely huge fan favorite. They're currently sold out in this neon yellow, uh, but they fit so well, oversized. Uh, it's just a perfect, perfect fit. And then I did have it in this neon orange one as well. I had to pop off. I think they go for like 40 bucks, so it was a steal. Absolutely steal. Um, I am also a fan of Bape. I love Bape tees. Uh, so I have, do have just some classic Bathe and Ape tees, just a Bathe and Ape. Uh, college tee, some more Kif tees, just, you know, basic. Basic tees. This is what stuff I'd wear, uh, you know, if I'm hanging out of the house or if I'm you know, just running errands or just hanging out with friends, you know, just keep it, you know, dumbing it down a little bit, you know, so, you know, simple colors. And then I keep it, you know, with like the seasons too, keep the colors, you know, that matches the season. So I have my olive shirts, uh, the babe, and then I love this, absolutely love this Yeezy season six gravel tee. Uh, just the, the fabric that they use, the clothing, it's just, it's always good quality with Yeezy. And then Supreme, love Supreme tees as well. Uh, two of my favorites that I have that, I, that I've been wearing lately, just uh, this one's kind of gross, but disgusting, but I absolutely love it. It's just, uh, uh, you know, someone's innards, <laughs> innards with their lungs, their, their heart. I always get, like when I wear this shirt, I always get people staring at it and like asking me questions about it because it's so gross, but it's so cool. And then obviously the Mike Kelly, I gotta have the Mike Kelly collaboration tee in white, absolutely love that. Now these pieces are you know, typically what I wear going out. If I go to a bar, go to a club, I'm hanging out with someone special. You wanna dress nice, right? So here's just a few. You know, I did pick up this uh, All Saints uh, sweater. Kinda reminds me of that Supreme CGC uh, collaboration that they did, that sweater. Fortunately, that one's going for like $300 plus. But this one I got on sale, uh, All Saints. It's, some of a, it's a brand that I'm not really familiar of but someone put me on it and I absolutely love it. It's great quality. Uh, so that's one of them. And then I got this, you gotta have the cheetah print. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta 
it's a vibe. I will just say that. It's a vibe. You know, people love it, and I always get comments on it. It's a great piece. Um, and then I also, BBC, I'm a huge fan of BBC clothing. So this is like a typical shirt that I'd wear like in the summer nights it's, uh, with like some pharaohs, some palm trees. Absolutely back, love that shirt. And then like my, my sweatshirts, hoodies, uh, just a couple. I have a bunch, but this is just, these are just two that I absolutely love. My favorite, uh, the Astro World merch. Uh, when this dropped, I had to have this sweatshirt. I saw Travis Scott wear it. Um, and then as soon as I saw him wear it, I had to have it. So it's just, uh, you know, the Astro World print. This is in, um, embroidered, really good. And then on the back, it just says, uh, wish you were here. Absolutely love it. I wish the quality was a little bit better as far as the hoodie, but it's still a dope piece, still a dope piece. I always get questions about this one on the channel. Uh, but, and then I have Supreme. I tip, you gotta have a Supreme hoodie. The quality on the Supreme hoodies are fantastic. Uh, I have a bulldog, I love dogs. So I had to get the dog uh, print on the back, Supreme one. Uh, it's a favorite. It's a white one. I know a lot of people don't wear white to get because it gets dirty, but you gotta venture out, man. You gotta you gotta take risks in life. But I absolutely love it. And then my track jackets. I always wear in track jackets. Here, this is the recent Bape Adidas collaboration that they did. Um, huge fan of it. I went with the red because I lo actually love red. It's one of my favorite colors. Uh, but you know with Adidas on the back and then you got the bait print all across it So that's one of them and then you know I gotta have the Kith, Kith Mitchell and S collaboration that dropped in the spring uh, Love this one silk got that vibe to it. It's a dope piece dope dope piece All right, so now some of my outerwear pieces uh, a couple of these pieces I did feature on my you know 700 both styling video that I put out recently uh, If you haven't seen that video go check that out. I'll put that link down below as well uh, but you know we gotta have a bomber jacket. Absolutely love this one. Uh, olive color. This is from J Crew. It's a great piece. And then you know I got this from H and M. Uh, really cheap, not too bad. But it's just an army raincoat type deal. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, I love that piece too as well. And then more professional, more you know dressy. I do have an overcoat. Absolutely love this overcoat. Uh, I wear this you know if, again if I'm going out, go to a bar, go to the club. Uh, so you gotta have an overcoat. You gotta have more dressier vibes uh, in your wardrobe. Um, then, if you didn't know, I do buy a lot of vintage clothing uh, here and there on the channel. Um, I do try to t feature it more often, but uh, you know, some of the pieces that I do pick up, I tend to buy more outerwear um, in vintage just to save money. It's because you can get it cheaper, uh, like you know, denim jackets, man. You can find denim jackets at the uh, at the thrifts all the time. But I absolutely love this one. It's kind of like that hippie hipster vibe with the whole peace sign, and then you got like the um, the Native American print on the back absolutely love this one i have no idea what the hell, hell it's doing but it's pretty cool absolutely love that piece another track jacket this is uh from the uh from the pharrell human race uh, i believe this is from the holly festival uh pack that they did uh, this one's really nice it fits a little bit different fits tighter uh, but i absolutely love this one i love the color and then you got to have a nice uh, varsity jacket i don't know where this came from or what but kind of has that old school st louis rams color vibe so it's kind of just it's got that old school vibe to it and i absolutely love it i love to mix it up with this i throw like some camo print with it uh pants with it and it's you know it's just uh you know takes me back to those high school days you know that we all want to go back to all right so now i just want to show you some of the pants i've been re wearing recently uh usually on the weekends you tend to find me wearing like you know comfy clothes uh it's just been you know how i've been lately but i'll just show you a few i do have like this easy season five oxblood track pants these originally like were like 300 plus, I believe. Uh, but over the summer, they dropped down for like 100 bucks. As soon as I saw that, I had to cop this. Oxblood, such a cool color. I need, absolutely need the windbreaker to match it so I can take a dope fit pick for IG, but uh, I'll get that eventually. Uh, the Yeezy Calabasas track pants, I love these ones as well. Uh, I do love last season a little bit more. Uh, it's just more, it's just thicker. It's a thicker, it just feels better quality. Uh, I love the red, red on red, so cool. And then the new season, I picked up both colorways, ink in, uh, I believe, Luna. Uh, this one, again, is just a thinner, it's thinner quality, which is kind of, a, well, it is what it is, but, uh, and it fits longer. Uh, but what they did add that I absolutely love is the strings, you know, gotta have the strings. This one didn't, unfortunately, but this one does, which I absolutely love. Uh, as far as sweats, hey, hey, season back. five, uh, uh, Calabasas, uh, Luna. Uh, sweats, pick these up again with the sale. When this went on sale, this one did as well. 
Uh, this one's thick, more form fitting. Love this one, great, great quality. Uh, and then I have the Bape Adidas track pants to match my Bape Adidas track jacket. Again, I love the print. Usually I wouldn't wear both. I can wear it separately, but again, Bape, absolutely love Bape, gotta have it. Uh, cargo, let's talk about cargos real quick. I do have, you know, some vintage army, you know, authentic cargos. I went to the army store, had to get the real deal. You know, a lot of people, a lot of brands tend to put out army cargos, but you gotta have the actual legit pair. So this one came from a soldier, a soldier uh, probably like, I don't know when, like I think in the 90s. Uh, so this actually came from him. So really cool, really great vibe. Absolutely love that one. And then as far as jeans, man, you can't go wrong with jeans. But for me, I tend to stick with Levi's. I'm 6'5", so finding jeans that fit is always tough for me. Especially when you buy online, it's like impossible. So Levi's has been my go-to. You gotta have three different colorways. You gotta have a black for when you go out. You gotta have a more dark blue, goes with more, it's more, you know, more professional, I would say, look. And then you gotta have, you know, some distress. You gotta have some distress jeans. So, uh, these are my pants. All right, now I just wanna show you some of the sneakers I keep in my closet. I know you guys are gonna call me out on this, but I do, obviously I do have more sneakers than this. But I just tend to keep my double ups in here and also, you know, the, my current rotation that I've been wearing this week. Uh, so, you know, I have like the Wave Runners. I have two pairs of those. I have two pairs of the Supermoons, uh, which I absolutely love. Those are my, one of my two, my two favorite shoes uh, right now. I um, mean, then also my rotation, you know, I gotta have the Utility Blacks, the Blushes, uh, been a huge, I'm a huge fan of the 500s, you can't go wrong. And I'm super excited for the salt, the salt pair that's dropping in a couple of weeks. I gotta have those. And then a huge fan of Yeezy boots. I think they're super underrated. Uh, so this is just the desert boots. I have them in uh, taupe and then uh, graphite. Uh, I know they just recently dropped a couple of new pairs too as well on the site, but unfortunately, uh, I was just, you know, I was too late. They sold out pretty, pretty quick, but uh, it, I wouldn't be too worried. They're going to restock them or they'll be up on some other sites uh, in the next, probably in the next couple weeks, I would say. And then just give you guys a little sneak peek. I do have a video coming real quick on these. So just a little showcase. So, uh, but guys, that is my shoes that I have in my closet and also my, you know, my overall closet to begin with. So. All right, so that's just a glimpse inside my closet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.